What is up, everybody? Thank you so much for tuning into another episode of Rocket Vlogs. It is Build Sember. I don't know if I've said that yet in any of these videos, but that's just what I call when I build a bunch of rockets in December. Anyway, if you've been around on this channel long enough, you'll know that I used to have a four inch Wildman Punisher called Ghost Rider, and it came in ballistic on an M2050. Because of a stupid decision I made. We don't have to rehash that. All that's important here is that last year, or no, earlier this year, my lovely boss, Eric, uh, sent me a four inch Punisher kit after my three inch one got destroyed um, because he felt bad for me. So I graciously paid back his generosity by letting it sit for almost a year before I built it. But now it's finally time and I'm gonna do things a little bit different. Because for one, I just watched Joe Barnard's video about bonding composites and epoxy and bonding prep. And you know, everything I know and have spieled about over years is now called into question. So why not shake things up a little bit? And also, if you watch my channel, you'll know that I am sort of a hater of internal fillets in high power rocketry. But a friend of mine who's an actual engineer and is actually way smarter than me suggested that the internal fillets are actually more important than the external ones because you're dealing with the weakened structure of the tube once there's fin slots and so the external fillets aren't mounted to as sturdy an object as the motor tube that doesn't have holes in it. So my Patriot that I'm looking at off camera here uh, might just be garbage because that one has no internal fillets. What we're gonna do is a little bit of the hard opposite with this four inch Punisher. I'm going to make super beefy internal fillets and the externals will be almost nothing but aesthetic. So I'm not gonna explain to you how I'm doing that yet. Instead, you just get to watch Thanks for tuning into a Rocket Vlogs video. Uh, let's build a Wildman 4 inch Punisher for the second time in this channel's history. I just sanded everything without recording any of it. Like the camera was up there and nothing happened. Anyway, we're so back, dude. It has been a while since I've built a really fast high performance rocket with C8 attack things together and inevitably that's going to bring out somebody who calls that into question. So while I get things set up for gluing, I'm gonna play a little clip from my last four inch, well, it's from my five inch Punisher build, but it was my last four inch Punisher where I made the point that this doesn't matter. Effectively, we're ruling out that joint by the time we have internal fillets done because we're creating one structural piece from ring to ring, from the fin to the motor tube. So effectively, we're making this all one big unit. So the joints, with the motor tube to the centering ring with CA and the fins to the motor tube with CA are going to be overruled by the fact that epoxy is going to be attaching everything. Let me give you an example. This is the fin can for my four inch Punisher, which uh, if you guys watch my videos, you recall an Argonia on its way down, the nose cone clocked the fin hard enough to completely destroy the leading edge of the fiberglass, but the fin is still solid and if that's not convincing enough for you. We'll even take it a step further, huh? See that? It needs to be painted anyway, don't worry. One big piece. Any more questions? No? Good.
Okay, admittedly these fillets are a lot smaller than I like kind of thought they were going to be. I didn't really think about it before much that, you know, it's a four inch rocket with a three inch hole. Also, I started recording and I flipped the little phone mount up and then stopped recording. So sorry, you missed the entire fillet making process here. Rockets are so fun. Right, folks that is where i'm gonna wrap it for the four inch punisher build for now i will say the fins feel unbelievably strong i'm not confident enough to stand on it like i did with the last one but maybe if i keep being a little bit better about what i'm eating and keep going on my morning walks i'll feel a little bit better about it here in a few months but uh yeah another four inch punisher i'm so super excited about this and truth be told I didn't get nearly as far into this rocket or nearly as far into that build pile behind me as I wanted to for build Sember. But if I am completely truthful with you, I just don't think it's worth the stress for me to try and be continuously posting a bunch of videos or just like really crack through a whole bunch of builds just cause the rockets are there and need to get built. It's just a lot of effort and a lot of stuff and trying to have that many irons in the fire at once is just, not fun to be honest with you and what is the point of any of this if i'm not having fun just like when i started this channel over a decade ago the point was to share the fun things that i'm doing rocketry not specifically do fun rocketry things for sharing them because then it starts to feel like a job and jobs aren't fun so that's where i'm hanging it but that actually gives us a good opportunity here because i have a couple more things i'm going to do for this one i'm going to cut the tube down <laughs> um, I just need it to look right. If you know my channel, you know I'm kind of locked in on Punishers, especially being the right length. And uh, though variations have changed a lot over the years, we sort of use Taylor's OG OG 3 inch Punisher as the end all be all for scale. And technically this should be, I think it's like 43 inches, but I'm not willing to sacrifice fitting my beloved AMW 75, 7600 case in here. So. I'm going to cut the tube down to 45, and then this coupler is hilariously long. So I'm going to cut that down so that we've got four inches into the airframe. That's all we need. And I actually might sacrifice a little bit more depending on how I'm feeling about it, just for a little bit more packing room around that case. Animal Motor Works is producing the M3000 again, and that has been one of my dream motors since I was like 10. So. Fitting the M3000 and that and that Patriot back there were musts while I was building these things. Leaving it here gives me a good opportunity to ask for your input. Now, if you're not familiar with my podcast, the Anti-Gravity Group Podcast, and why we call ourselves that, it's because we're all roller coaster nerds, and there's a roller coaster company called the Gravity Group. And we were just like, oh, the Anti-Gravity Group, that's funny. And didn't really expect it to turn anything, but here we are. And we've since even received a cease and desist from that roller coaster manufacturing company because uh, the logo parody art that I thought was funny was less funny to them. So, sorry, Gravity Group. Big fan. 
My original Forge Punisher was called Ghost Rider because we name a bunch of rockets after iconic roller coasters. And Ghost Rider was retracked by a company called GCI. So what I'm trying to decide is if this Punisher should be Ghost Rider 2 or GCI Ghost Rider, or if I should name it Gold Striker, which is sort of Ghost Rider's sister coaster, also designed by GCI up in the Bay Area in San Francisco at California's Great America. It's actually in San Jose, sorry. Bay Area people will be mad at me if I imply that those are the same thing. Um, I'm really leaning towards Gold Striker and then doing another like super striking, really metallic gold paint job on this thing. But if I put a big M motor in it, it's probably just gonna burn the paint off and I don't want to have to do it over and over. So maybe I do that and then use some really high temp clear. Uh, maybe it is GCI Ghost Rider, Ghost Rider 2. Let me know your thoughts. And uh, that's pretty much all I got for you. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Rocket Vlogs. Big shout out to my Patreon supporters and channel members whose names are scrolling across the screen right now. If you wanna see behind the scenes pictures, videos and content, early releases and ad free releases, go to patreon.com slash rocket vlogs or press the join button below this video. My name is Braden Carlson. We just started building a four inch Punisher. You watched a Rocket Vlogs video and I will see you all next time.